so the weather is warm and when it's warm I like to train outside as often as I can uh, there's a spot that I've hit up last last summer that I'm going back to now because I've seen different um, different runs outside of it other than the same movements but um, I want to try to connect all of them so um, that's where I'm heading now so I'm here at the jump or the place where it starts the movement simple little jump the idea is possibly to jump from here to here front flipping Kong out or jump from here pre I don't know something here or run up stride pre precision onto this little cable box if it's stable enough from the other side of the street maybe um, it's just a beautiful square I don't know how long or wide it is um, so it doesn't matter I know I can make the jump so I'll try to record something for you guys you see this side so here we have the ability of me trying to record what looks like a jump to a pre you're gonna see me coming into the jump from running on outside of the street attempting to land here I can do it here, but there's a lot of grass and it's slippery and there's that's an excuse. So let's try to do it here for the first time. I've done it here. There is a difference of distance in regards of um, how closer it is to the ground here. The run up also is closer to the ground. So it's basically like lower hip where here it's to my hip once I run up to it. So I have to stride up higher. That also makes it a little bit, maybe like one or two inches or something. I don't know more difficult to land the precision here um, so here we go all right easy let's try to stick it it wasn't as difficult I had to put a lot of power into it outside of the one that's the one that I showed you earlier or pointed to earlier this is easier to do I actually when I run into this one I overpower it so it's more learning how to control that this one here I kind of have to do that that style of run up to it because um it's higher off the ground so one more time let's try to stick it better see how I'm landing that's toe stuff all right that was fun you get the idea right same jump from the side see the angle Once I got it, I got it. <sighs> Brought the camera back over to the original spot here for the jump. And to your right over here is a pillar that's breaking off. Um, I kind of took some pieces off. And I decided to try standing precision from here to here. Again, I don't know how long that is. I did it last summer so it's not an issue um, I'd like to add some pieces to it is the idea add something more but it's such a big jump for me that um, and even now a whole year later um, coming out of it it's gonna be the only the safest thing I can do is a back tuck uh, maybe I can right leg 
left leg stride precision and then possibly take it to the box that's over on the left hand side that you can't see as of yet um, I'll just show you the jump let's talk in more jumping Simple. You want to see it with the back tuck? So, didn't get any more jumps. I was able to do like this single leg front precision, almost dive conk thing, but I kind of hurt my hand on it or re injured something that was there. So, I'm here at the gym. I got a 12 o'clock class. Um, Probably just going to rest up a little bit and relax until class starts. Um, Sundays are usually hiking, relaxing, not really doing much, just taking care of this PK class and then enjoying the rest of my day. So back again, I'm inside now and just before class starts, I set up a course for the kids starting there, going all the way around here up and over through the box. Then there's another box on the other side and then they precision onto here. I'm gonna go that way and then back to here. Um, I might move this box here so that they can climb up here and then jump into the foam pit. They love that. I'd really like to tell you I know what I'm doing when it comes to this twisting stuff, but I don't. But perfect practice makes perfect execution. I don't know. So I just practice them when I feel good, when I have the energy to do it. It's funny, I have more energy for PK, which might be a little bit more heavier on the body than twisting, but I don't know, I'm not a twister as of yet. What I have to face. Yup, it's six for a fence straight. Nice. Yup, these really help your climb ups. Your top outs. Get to class! You guys get to 11. Class! Class! So, back once again after open gym. Um, I decided to try to record this front flip. I don't know what it is, a Webster, Webster front leg in to like a small dive Kong out. That's gonna happen on this side here. 
this side here is my running stride pre I could easily do the front Webster here too um, I just like it over here so I might show it to you over here I might show it to you over here but um, I'll do the running stride pre one more time and then I'll do the front Webster Kong dive out right here do it again. Let me try giving you a different angle and see if that helps.